Hi guys, this is Shobhit Walia. So today I will show you how to create rule engine using expression tree. So before going to start, I will give you a small introduction of expression tree. So let's say if I say x greater than 5. So x greater than 5 is a very very simple expression. Here the x is the left hand side node. Greater than is a root node and 5 is also a right node. So this is a simple structure of the expression. So with the help of this expression we can calculate, we can evaluate uh, the results using expression tree. So this is a very simple expression. X is a parameterized expression because the value of X can be changed at runtime. Greater than is an operator expression and 5 is a constant expression in the C sharp. So this is the basics of expression tree. So what problem it solve? So I will give you a small introduction. I will give you a small problem and uh, definitely this will help you what are the problems and what we can solve using expression tree. So let's say I have a function named calculate. It contains three parameter well1, well2 and operator. So both uh, two others are integer type and third one is an operator. So uh, let's uh, let's say if I need to calculate uh, the well1 and well1 well2 value whether it's a greater than whether it's an equal or maybe in future if you want it's a less than or something like that so traditionally what we can do we can create a function uh, we can create a function which is uh, which is calculate function and using the if else condition uh, we will return back uh, uh, whether the value is greater than or less than so what is the problem in this the main problem in this approach is you know there is a lots of if else condition for example if I want more than if I want less than or something like <laughs> that so what I need to I need to change this code I need to put an extra if condition and after that this will work so you know this is the dependency of your code and if if the value change at runtime then definitely you cannot do anything in this code because you are not handling the specific if condition in this so this is one of the major drawback of this code so what I will do I will you know change this code using expression tree and I will show you what uh, are the benefit of using expression tree so uh, let me show you actually I have already created a code for the expression tree I will just put the code and will show you how this is of work okay so guys as you can see that this I have pasted my code and I will give you introduction what is this so rather than uh, so I have created a compile rule function so this is a function which contains three parameter the same parameters integer well1 integer well2 and the operator so what I will do I will do I will call a build expression functions inside this and it returns expression okay so it return expression I'll show you what this build expression do build expression also contain three parameter well1 well2 operator <coughs> okay so here the well1 is in left operator where left is in constant type because I have passed the value constant this is my 7, 7 is a constant value I convert this value into the int type and this is a constant type so my left value is 5 and here in my case this is also a constant value I passed 6 <coughs> and my 6 value is also integer type so this is my right expression and you know I have already declared an expression type so I need to cast the operator I pass greater than so greater than is an by default expression type 
which is enum type defined in the C sharp library. So if it successfully if it is able to successfully cast then it will call this make binary method expression dot make binary. So what expression dot make binary do expression dot make binary uh, get three parameter t binary left and right it will evaluate it will you know evaluate the uh, expression and return back and return here in this expression okay so this expressions uh, expression you know always return as a func which have written type bool okay so this expression I compiled this expression and the return type is func bool this is an expression lambda lambda expression okay so this is my function basically what I, what I have done here I pass the values I build the expression and compile the expression and return the expression lambda and what I do now what I did this here in this main program I call compile rule which I have returned type func bool uh, and after that you know I call the result and result 1 so this is the functionality of the expression tree here you can see that I'm not putting any if else condition uh, or if you want to run it for greater than if you want to run it for equal it will run com it will run without any if else condition so let me show you uh, for the result and result one so when I run that Here you can see that the first is true and second is true. So what I've did? Okay, the seven is greater than six. Yes, it's greater than six. It's true. Six is greater equals to six. Yeah, it's six. So if I change it five and uh, say this is three, then I uh, four five. So uh, the both values should come false. False right so this is the expression uh, actually what I did I change the traditional code into the expression code and uh, I just want to you know uh, play with these values uh, dependent of this value the compile will calculate uh, whatever so this is just a very simple expression tree and one more thing this expression is build and uh, build and execute at runtime so you know you don't you don't need to worry about whether you know <coughs> Uh, write if else code or whatever you just need to write an expression it will uh, build into runtime and execute it so it's a very handy way of writing programs so I think uh, this is uh, this is very uh, this video is very useful for you if you like that uh, please subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching this video thank you